Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. This morning, police are looking for the driver who hit and killed a pedestrian in Sterling Heights and took off. It happened around 730 last night at 16 Mile in Dequinder. Police say the victim is a 45 year old man from Sterling Heights. That man's identity has not yet been released. Evidence left at the scene indicates the driver was behind the wheel of a black 2017 or 2018 Jeep Cherokee. We're now going on day 29 of the UAW strike against General Motors and leaders were not able to reach an agreement at the bargaining table this weekend, but we're told talks are ongoing. The union sent a counter offer to General Motors Friday night that includes key issues like job security and quality health care. GM has yet to formally respond, only saying that they have received the proposal. On Sunday, a strike pay boost went into effect for nearly 50,000 workers on the picket lines. Those workers will now be able to take home $275 a week, up from $250 a week. We have a dry day today, and so it's about the temperatures. We're in the mid 40s right now in some areas. Could be around 40 degrees by the time the uh, sun comes up. Wind directions out of the west. You see the winds uh, drawn on the map here for you. We're going to roll forward now through about the middle of the day around noon. A lot of us could still be in the 40s by the time we're eating lunch today. It's going to be another chilly day, and the wind will be gusting around 15 to 20 miles per hour, and that's lighter than it has been the last couple of days, but still a little bit of a, a stiff breeze here today. Temperatures climb into the lower 50s, will likely stay below 55, so highs around Metro Detroit right around 53 degrees. And then tonight, we cool down quickly by 10 p.m., some spots dropping into the upper 30s. Overnight, we're going to be in the mid-30s. Some widespread frost is possible, I think staying just above freezing, but we'll keep an eye on spots like Ann Arbor, even Adrian and Lapeer, areas farther north and west of Detroit. Could be close to freezing tomorrow morning, so it's going to be a colder night tonight. Thank you